Okay, my name is Ibrahim, and I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Been a Muslim since 1997. Before Islam, I used to rap and I used to break dance. I was very good at it. But uh, I had a lot of questions about who created me, who God was. I'd always believed in God, but there was a void in my life and I didn't know what it was. I knew it was related to God, but there are a lot of things going on that, that caused stress on me. Um, and I didn't know where to turn a lot of times. I didn't feel that I understand uh, God as much as I should have because being raised a Christian, when people would always ask me, I was around a lot of people who were, uh, I guess you can call religious. And they would always say, well, what religion are you? And I would say, I'm Christian. But I always felt something was missing because I didn't fully understand Christianity. Uh, like many people, especially maybe in the African-American community, uh, we were raised as Christians, but never really taught anything else. And I'm the type of person that I don't like to call myself something and I don't know about it. So for years, I just felt that there was some kind of void, me calling myself Christian, but I don't know about it. And uh, this caused a lot of just, you know, questions in my life about who God really is. I heard about these other religions like Judaism, uh, Islam, and I didn't know anything about them. But here I am, am calling myself something, and I don't really know about it also. So uh, before Islam, just had a lot of questions, man, about why I was on this earth with different things that were happening to me in relationships. Uh, you know, what's going on? Who really created me? Why am I going through what I'm going through? And uh, just a lot of questions before I was with a lot of unanswered questions. Um, life after Islam is beautiful. I mean, I can put it into words, but a lot of things uh, a person would have to experience for themselves. But there's a sense of peace. There's a sense of just questions being answered. There's a sense of knowing my purpose in life. Uh, just a greater understanding of why I'm here. Why I've gone through some of the things I've gone through. Uh, just happiness despite some of the challenges that I have I feel like I understand better why certain things happen to me and what I'm supposed to do you know in Islam we submit to the will of God and by submitting to the will of God it brings about such a um, I, I can't give it one word but it, it brings about such a feeling of confidence in yourself because you understand the ultimate purpose of why you're on this earth and that's to worship the one that created you. And then to understand him more, why he created you, uh, giving you guidance in what to do in different matters from family life uh, to personal things, uh, to relationships, just such a sense of purpose. And that all of everything that I do, everything that, that whether I achieve something, whether I strive for something and I don't achieve it, that there's going to be a day where justice is going to be served. And that God is going to do just by everybody. So this gives you a sense of what you're doing in this life is not for naught. You know, there's a purpose to everything that you have to do in this life, which brings us back to why you're here and why God created you, why he put you on this earth, why you go through the things that you go through. I mean, once I became Muslim, all of this stuff became clear and it helps me through every aspect of life, whether it's relationships, whether it's dealing with um you know, your family members, whether it's dealing with your job, whether you're talking about searching for a job, whether you're talking about going to school, but knowing my purpose in this life and knowing, understand who created me and what my duty is to him, it's just beautiful. And I love it. Uh, never felt better in my life after I accepted Islam. I mean, just the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, point of transition to becoming Muslim, uh, to practicing Islam. You know, before I was Muslim, uh, I'd say it before I had a lot of questions. I believed in God. And so getting some of the answers to who my Lord is and that he is one God, you're actually returning, as, as I call it, reverting back to your original state. You know, because as a child, as a baby, when you're born, 
you are in submission to the will of God, complete submission. And it's that the way that you're raised, whether it's our parents, whether it's your environment and, you know, people mean well, but they only work with the tools that they have. So you may be led into a direction other than the path of submission to the will of God, which is Islam. So in my case, you look at it and you actually revert back to this original state where you submit. Because remember, as a baby, you're in complete submission. There's no, uh, there's no misunderstanding about that. The Arabic word for it is fitra. You're on your fitra. And that's understanding that you have one God. He has no partners, no associates. And then, like I said, it's your environment, whether it's your parents, however you're raised. People may mean well, but they're only working with the tools they have. You are led away from that understanding who God is. So becoming Muslim, you revert back to that original state, which is understanding that your Lord is one God and that worship is due to him and him alone. And in my transition, understanding that actually helps you through every facet of life. When you're dealing with people on a personal level, being respectful to people, being just to people, listening, um, like I said, being respectful, but also in relationships. In terms of how you deal with uh, your co-workers, how you deal with friends on the street, you know, using uh, good speech, dealing with people uh, with respect, understanding all people and respect for all people that God created everybody. And that just because somebody is a certain color, they're no better than another person based on that. No person's better than anybody based on money, but a person who has what's called taqwa. And that is uh, being doing right what God wants us to do and staying away from what he wants from what he wants us to stay away from doing the best you can in that sense. So in my transition, learning these things really, really helped me navigate through all the life's challenges. And I always encourage anyone, I encourage anybody to take a look at Islam, to take a look at the religion in its purest form without any racial bias, without any, um, societal, uh, any type of bias, but look at the deen, the religion in its purest form. And I believe it can help anybody, anybody understand who their Lord is and what their purpose is in this life. You know, the transition for me was very easy, uh, because Islam is very simple and it's not difficult to understand. It's a basic principle, understanding that your Lord is one God and worship is due to him. And he has sent prophets and messengers as guidance uh, to, to all of mankind so that they will be, so that they'll understand why they were created, what their purpose is on this earth. And uh, it's beautiful for me. man. It's beautiful. You know, one of the things that really uh, pushed my heart towards Islam, you know, when I used to, I used to rap and uh, I was really interested in words and rhyming. And so when a friend of mine had given me the Quran, you know, I told him, I said, listen, I want to read this book before I make any decisions. You know, I didn't have any bias towards Islam. I didn't have a bias against Islam. And so when I got to the second chapter in the Quran, which is called Al-Baqarah, which means the cow, uh, and a lot of the verses rhyme, but I got to the, the, the first verse where God is telling us that in this book, this Quran, there is no doubt. I mean, there was a feeling in my heart that I just can't explain that it relieved a lot of the stress from me. It relieved a lot of pressure of a lot of questions. And it was clear that this book was special and that this book was from God, the one who created everything on this earth. And this really led me to, to uh, read more about Islam because uh, my heart was invested at this point. And I was saying, this is from my Lord. And, you know, being reading the previous chapter and some other books on Islam, I said, this is what I've been searching for, even though I didn't know this was it. So this allowed my transition to be easy and to revert back to the nature that I was created on. And that's to worship my Lord, who is one and has no partners and no associates. Now, this is my story. What's yours?